Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wake Up Poverty Inspires Me, the podcast. I hope you're having a blessed and a fantastic day wherever you're out in the world. And well, if you're not, you can. It's possible. Sometimes I think, man, if I were just to make a perfect podcast episode that could be just super inspiring and motivating and captivating that people would just take one listen and be like, man, I got to hear the rest of them. I can't wait. Something happens when we think like this. You see, it's almost like we invert our truth or, or, or we, we get it backwards. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use an example that just about everybody will be able to understand. And almost nobody will even know they don't know what they don't know. There will be some of you that will understand this. But there will be many, many, many of you that will this would seem completely normal. And the fact that you've been duped all this time is going to strike some sort of a feeling with you. And I just want you to, to listen to what I'm about to tell you. And you might be thinking, well, what, what is this guy talking about? I, uh, I'm a personal trainer. I train uh, boxing. I train regular weights, uh, fitness, everything to do with fitness. I have a guy that I train, and since I've been training this guy, he's lost probably about 30, 40 pounds. He's doing pretty well. Uh, used to have a belly. He doesn't have much of a belly anymore. And uh, he has a friend that he works with, and this friend uh, will like to slap him in his belly at times when they're messing around and working, saying, oh, we're fat. It was always, we're fat. <laughs> we're fat. And it just so happened that this gentleman went to go and uh, hit this guy that I train with, that I train uh, as he normally does in his belly. And when we go hit his belly, he, he, he just hit air. The clothes, they wear their baggy, so he didn't understand that there was no belly there no more. And the guy's like, whoa. Guess what his first response was? Man, I got to go back to the gym. Man, I got to go back to the gym. This is not uncommon. Often people think that they're not in shape or that they need to lose weight. And it's often associated with, man, I got to go back to the gym. Or, man, I need to go exercise. So I need to put in some sort of a routine to uh, get healthier. And then they just go to do that only to, to fail. And, and I'm not going to get into that, but... My point is, it's not uncommon to think, man, you lost some weight, I need to lose some weight, I need to go to the gym. Well, the gym is a component of weight loss. The gym is not weight loss, it is your mouth and the food that you eat that allows you to gain or lose weight. Calories in versus calories out is simple math. But to an unaware person, they want an easy way. If I do that thing, I will get this result. Well, somebody could lie to you and make a whole lot of money off of telling you that thing will give you this result. And you keep trying and you get the feeling like you're trying, but you don't see the result. I just made a lot of money lying to you. Half lies. Not full lies. Half lies. Because exercise is effective in many ways. But we're talking about losing weight. We're talking about burning calories. Taking off fat. Exercise will build muscle. You will get some sort of cardiovascular exercise based on your tempo, your rhythm, your rate, how you're training. You'll burn an X amount of calories. Let's say you burn 500 calories in a workout. It doesn't matter if you ate 5,000 calories and your body only needed two. Do you think working out is going to help you much? But if you don't have this knowledge, then you, then you think it's just totally normal that, man, man, I'm feeling a little heavy. I need to go to the gym. It's almost like if somebody were to say that to you, it wouldn't even seem like an uncommon statement. You don't even realize you're being duped. You're being taken advantage of. You know, 
we take advantage of ourselves by justifying this, by not taking the time to see what this effect is. We want that immediate result to say that if I do this, that happens. And then when it doesn't happen, we want to we wanna say it just doesn't work. Well, what maybe doesn't work is our view of it, right? Maybe it's so self-centered in how quickly I will get what I want that it forgets the most important thing. This want is really a, a lack. It's a, it's, a, it's a way of telling yourself you don't have something. When you want something, you, you're saying I don't have it. So you need to kind of adjust that want into a more of a present moment reality. I am. This is the mental part where you must attack first because whatever your body is doing, it's only because your mind told it. Your mind told it exercise makes you lose weight, so you think you're going to go exercise your weight away. It's not going to happen. Calories in versus calories out. So if we could be so duke so easily on something so ravingly simple, what, are, what, are, what is happening here? What's happening is we're using our selfishness and our greed, our desire to, to fit in, to want to be more than what we already are against us. And we don't even know it. We don't even realize it. So other people who do realize it dangle things in front of you to make you believe and keeps you in a certain state of normalcy. Are you following me? This is only an example. It's like a ripple effect. If I make this podcast, I don't only really care about, you know, the, the people who are my friends. Are they listening to me? Do they like me? Do they care? Did I say something good? Did I say something bad? Does it even matter? If you're going to put content out, put content out. And where the chips lie, they lie. You know when a ocean recedes the water more than normal? It could be a sign that tsunamis on the way. The ripple effect can be a rock skipping the pond or a tsunami hitting the shore. You know, we don't know what we put out is going to affect into the future. We don't know. And it's not up to us to know or to, to say, okay, well, let me get uh, some sort of recognition or satisfaction because I set this in motion. You're going back to an inverted intent, which is selfish in nature, and it will only give you what you're asking of it. A selfish reward you get to go to the gym and believe that this is the way calories in calories out you've been duped you know in life we get duped over so many things you get duped into thinking that you have to live a certain way of life or duped into thinking that you have to be with a certain person or duped into thinking that you look a certain way and you just this is what it is that you can't do this and you can't do that. That's all just that's all just hearsay of your mind. When your mind can start to understand what it what it's telling itself, it can start to actually listen. And there's power in listening. Taking the time to listen to this podcast, so you're like, where is this guy going? It's doing something. It's turning a key of inquisitiveness. Hmm. Sometimes that hmm, is all you need to start taking action out of the trance that you're living in. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. I mean, find a place where you can see these realities. They're all around you. Wherever you're limiting your self, you're putting yourself in that corner and saying this is where I am. Because this is where I'm supposed to be. Not realizing there's other corners you can move to. There's other places you can go. Things you can do. And don't worry about what the effect is going to have. And don't do it because you expect a reward. You have to reinvent yourself. By taking that selfish aspect out of you to want to be recognized. And just give. give it's almost an unrecognizable trait but we do it all the time 
we give smiles, we give frowns, we give middle fingers, we give hugs. We're always giving. The question is, what's the intent behind your giving? Is it inverted? Are you getting duped? Or do you have the intelligence, the stillness, and the awareness to know that you're whole, perfect, powerful, loving, happy, and harmonious just the way you are? Hope you have a blessed and fantastic day. Thank you for tuning in again to my 10 Minutes of Wisdom podcast. Wake Up Poverty inspires me. Until next time, be blessed.